New at six with the new school year, therapists say it is more important than ever to talk to your children about mental health. At least three students committed suicide, one in each of the three school districts in Madison County last school year. Way 31's Marie Wexel examines the dangers and how sometimes symptoms are ignored or even brushed aside. My first suicide attempt was at eight. The last time I thought about suicide, actually planned it, was at 42. Brenda Taylor Moody spent most of her life struggling to understand why she felt different. I wasn't a bad kid who wasn't, had two parents at home who were very strict, but I was out of control because I couldn't control anything around me. And the more I felt unease, the more I acted out. She now challenges others to lose the stigma when it comes to mental illness, especially in kids because of this sobering statistic. It's the second leading, leading cause of death for children and teenagers in Alabama. Huntsville Hospital Foundation is working to change that statistic. Um, Dr. Apana Vupala yeah, serves as the medical director for its SPEAK program, Suicide Prevention, Empowerment, Awareness, Knowledge, which encourages the importance of just that urging others to speak openly about mental health. The way to, um, to, to, to decrease the rate is for everyone to talk about it, for everyone to realize what is depression, what is clinical depression, what is normal teenage, you know, what is normal childhood reactions. Dr. Vupala and others train teachers and staff at all three school districts in Madison County on mental health education. They are trying to do the best they can. They pull the parents in and say, your child needs help. They need to see a counselor or they need to see a doctor and get help. But um, there's still the stigma that the parents are not able to like go and get help for the kid. Dr. Vupala says there are a number of factors that play a role and can impact a child's mental health at any age. We're talking bullying, a lack of support, family trauma, even social media. It all plays a role in children's and young adults' mental health. Dr. Vupala says it's important that parents don't rely solely on school leaders to intervene. We always look for the sad kid or the the kid who's a loner. And it's not always that. Sometimes it's the most popular kid in school. For Brenda, it took 42 years in the help of a friend to face her issues head on. I'm diagnosed with anxiety and depression. My brain doesn't produce a certain chemistry, a certain chemical. So that had nothing to do with me being soft. I'm pretty tough. And I realize that now, that I'm willing to fight for other people who at that moment can't fight for themselves. She says it's up to you to find the courage to share your thoughts. I beg you to just say something. Um, I think I believe nobody would care. Um, nobody was listening, but I was wrong. I was very wrong about people being out there who cared. There is a support system. So that's a warning signs, and then you say this, it's moderate. Talking about suicide. The SPEAK program offers a free app to help guide people of all ages on how to deal with suicide and ways to approach the topic. They say the average, you know, one suicide impacts at least minimum 200 people. We're talking about classmates or um, church or, you know, the community, the neighborhood, you know. Um, it, it, that's the minimum mm -hmm. of how one suicide impacts others. As parents, she said you should never dismiss your child's feelings. Be sure to have a safety net for them to be able to discuss openly their feelings and if they have any issues. And if you're the one who's struggling, life can be better. You can live life normally. You can live life with purpose. It just takes a little work. Marie Waxel, Way 31 News. Dr. Bupala says one in nine kids will tell an adult if they're suicidal, but most of them will tell a peer. And that is why the Speak Now program is looking for student ambassadors. For details on how to apply, go to our website. It's waytv.com and click on this story.